Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is December 2017's Patch Day. As you probably know by now, the second Tuesday of every month is both Microsoft and Adobe Cyclical Patch Day, where they fix a bunch of security vulnerabilities in their products. And by the way, earlier this month, Apple also released a number of security updates. So in today's video, I'm going to quickly uh, summarize all of these patches, which you should go get if you use any of the software. Today, Microsoft released patches fixing 32 vulnerabilities in a wide range of their products, including Windows, both of their browsers, IE and Edge, the Office package, Exchange, and also SharePoint. 20 of these vulnerabilities are critical issues which could allow remote code execution, so you definitely should get the updates as soon as possible. Next, let's move on to Apple. Recently, Apple released updates for many of their products, including Mac OS, Watch OS, TV OS, Safari, and iTunes. The Mac OS update fixes 22 vulnerabilities, including one pretty significant remote code execution vulnerability that gives you kernel privileges so it's a pretty bad flaw. If you use any of those Apple products, you should definitely go update immediately. And luckily, Apple has a lot of auto-updating mechanisms that should remind you. Finally, Adobe Patch Day was relatively light compared to the other two. Adobe only released a Flash update, and this particular update only fixed one moderate vulnerability in Flash. Nonetheless, if you use that product, you should definitely go get it. In any case, Microsoft, Apple, and Adobe all released security vulnerabilities pretty recently. If you use any of the products I listed, be sure to go to the blog post associated with this video as I'll have reference links where you can get more information about these updates and where to get them. And by the way, if you want general update information, one of my favorite recent resources is a summary post by the Zero Day Initiative, which does a very good job summarizing all of these uh, cyclical monthly patches. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.